Today I want to show you how to upgrade your bullet lists on keynote presentations to a fun child-inspired viewing window where your points seem to slide up into view in the center of the screen and you're able to customize the color of the background and the foreground. And you have a fun way at the end to reveal all of your points for a summary. So we'll start here with Keynote on your Mac. You can see we've got it opened up. We have that bullet list here. We want to make this something more visually appealing. So what we're going to do with this is spread it out over several sides, add some color and some animation to make this much more appealing to your audience and engaging as you present your content. There's a few things we have to do to get this all set up. The first thing you're going to do is set up a master slide that you can duplicate for all your presentation. So simply go over here to add a slide. We're going to put a blank one in. For your background, I suggest coming over here into your inspector and choosing a gradient fill. And a nice black and gray works great. That's what we're going to use today. But again, you can come over here and change it. You can even click and go from one of the different pre-selected colors they have set. Then we're going to add a shape up here, rectangle. And this is a little shortcut. Go over here to arrange and you can type in 1920 by 1080, and that is the size of our screen, whatever size you're making your presentation. If you know those dimensions, you can put that in there. And for today's purposes, we're also going to make this a gradient. So we'll go over here to color fill, gradient fill. Because of the fun kids theme we're doing, we're gonna start with their red, but then we're gonna go over here and use the colors from the Mac list, one that's Marciano Cherry and one that's Cayenne Pepper. And that will give us a look we want. Then add another shape, this time the squircle or rounded rectangle. You're going to want to center this, drag it across, and then let those guides show you that it's centered and make it big enough to view what you're showing. So today about that, we'll drag this up. Again, use the guides and center it. Then you have this little green dot here. You can go and adjust the corners. We're gonna bring those a bit more rounded. Now, here's where the fun begins. While you have this selected, use the command key and click on the other shape. Then go to arrange. You have an option to subtract and it will cut out a hole in the center with that shape. That's set to go. Now for the look to be even better, go to style, add a shadow, drop shadow. We're gonna make this more offset where you can see it now in here in the window. We'll blur that so it looks more natural and we'll increase the gradient so it's a little bit darker. That should be good to go. This is our master slide. We're gonna end up having a title, five points, and a conclusion. So we're going to duplicate and you can use a keyboard shortcut, Command D, so we have seven of these. Title, point one, two, three, four, five, in conclusion. Now, bullet points aren't all bad, but there's just a lot of information on here that belongs more in your hands as a presenter and not on screen for your audience. So what we're gonna do is simply go in here and we're gonna triple click on the title, copy, click on our first slide, go up to view, and go down here to show presenter notes. These are notes that only you see in the control screen when you're presenting. Paste, and we'll do this for each of those slides. So now we're gonna go to our first point. You can triple click to highlight the whole thing. Command C, go over here to our next slide, Command V. We'll do this with each of these so that we have all of the notes available to us, but so the audience doesn't necessarily need to see all of this on screen, that's too much for them. Now that we have that, we're gonna make this all usable. As you're going, please remember to do file and save so you don't lose your work. When I'm working on something like this, I like to keep that first slide there until I'm totally done in case I mess something up. So we're gonna duplicate this slide. And with this text box, we don't need all those extra points anymore. So go in here and delete the notes that are just for you and leave only the headings in here. This will shrink this up, make it much more visually appealing. And now for what we're doing, we need to have one text box, not multiple. So select and copy your title. Get into your text box here, paste it, and then we will delete that box. Now this one's a bunch of different formats. For our purposes, we're actually gonna wanna make it white because we have that dark background. So we'll go to text, we'll change the color to white. We're gonna increase the size, but how do you know what size to make it? Well, you want to be able to show up in your viewing window. So let's take this and cut it, and we'll paste it on here. The widest thing is 0.3 for us today. So we wanna make sure that shows up on our window. Let's make this a little bit smaller so it has a bit of margin and is not just filling it. I like to have a little bit more control over the forming of it. So we're going to highlight these five points and go over and choose no bullet. So we turn that off. Any kind of indention here, go ahead and clear that away as well. Or just double tap and choose zero. Put our number and a space in, and that's enough to separate it. Copy that, go down and paste, and then just change the number. If we click on the whole text box, so it's all selected here. I'm going to set this to zero. 
And if we drag this over, we want to set it up so we can see one point at a time, not multiple. We want to have room in between them. So increase this until you see that it's going to make enough space that it will show up individually in the window with no other points showing. Drag this one up a little bit when it's centered. It's still a little bit too close here and here. Keep increasing that. It's going to look strange, but trust me on the process here. That's there. We have some room. It's 140. We're going to go ahead and set it to 160. You can adjust this while you can see your title and your longest point. You can go ahead and drag this over to make it about the width of that longest point. Then now center on your screen. Bring it down and you have your title text. Then you're going to go to Arrange, Back, and then copy this text box. Go to your first point, paste it, drag it up until number one is centered. Keep it centered on the screen from left to right. Arrange, back. And you'll keep doing this with each of them, dragging up to the point you want for that window, sending it to the back. And this one's going to have our title again in the window. And we'll show you why it's a fun way to get to the end. Now we're going to add a new slide. We're going to make that gradient background again. And this time, we're going to paste that text box. So the first thing we'll do is go over here and shrink the size of the space after the paragraph. Depending on your points, you should be able to get them all to fit on the screen without shrinking the font size. And then give yourselves a little bit of space from top and bottom. Pull this on here and make sure it's centered. Our text is white with a nice background. Here's what we're going to do next. Add a shape. Again, same trick as before. Go over to Arrange. Make the shape the same dimensions as your screen, so it's full screen and fits. For this one, we want to change the style. It's not going to be permanent, just so that it stands apart. And then we'll go down here to Opacity, as so we can see through. Now we're going to add that rounded rectangle shape. We'll go up here, and we're actually going to cover up the title text. We'll use that little guide to show us we're centered. Even give this greater opacity, so we can see the text underneath. We want to be just a little bit above and below the tallest and longest letters. And then we'll duplicate, drag it down, find that widest one, widest point you have. Again, check top and bottom. Make sure it's below the letter that goes down the farthest, is a little bit above. Duplicate this, drag it up, keep it centered, but adjust where it lies top and bottom based on the height of your letters. Now, while clicking on one of these, you can use the command key and click on the rest of them. Go over here to Opacity, set it back to 100. While those are all selected, use the Command key, click on your background, and then go to Arrange. We're going to subtract it again. And then with that shape selected, we actually want it to just simply look white. So we'll go to Color Fill and choose White. Be sure your opacity is back at 100 again. We'll go up top. We don't need the slide anymore, so we can delete it. We've got all of our points, so we delete the one that we didn't like. Now for all of these, we're going to let Keynote do all the work. Tap on your slide, come all the way down, hold the Shift key, and tap on the next to the last slide. Go over to Animate, add an effect, and we're going to choose Magic Move. To bring this down to 0.7 seconds, we don't need it to be very long. And now, because we used the same text box and just moved it, it will look like it's sliding behind the top of the slide to that shape. For this last one, we want it to look like that next slide is popping out, or this is coming down inspired by the old toy. So for the animation, we'll do Add Effect. We'll come down to Reveal. But we'll make it go from top to bottom. And now when you go to play your presentation, you have all these slides with your points magically sliding up behind. Coming back together for your closing, showing all five for the conclusion, and if you want to reuse this but make it customized differently, this whole top layer here is not an image, it's a shape. So you can go into Format and change that gradient to whatever color you want to have the right look for your team, your school, your company, your brand. It's fully customizable. And the same thing that goes to the back of the slide. That's a gradient fill right now. And so you can go in and change that as well. So the back and the front are both customizable. I also want to show you the presenter controls. When you go into Keynote, you have the opportunity to set up a presenter controls on here. If you remember, we added the speaker presentation notes. That's what shows up here. 
in this presentation controls, I have the current slide. I have the next slide that will show up. And then I have what is shown here as my notes. As I advance through the presentation, those notes change. All the audience sees is unleash your true colors. I see be authentically you, quirks and all. Trust me, the real you is where the magic happens. I don't have to read this, but it's there to remind me in case I get distracted or forgotten. While this point stays on the screen, I can talk about what this means and flush it out in more detail, but that main point is there for me, and that will be there all along. One simple phrase shows up on the screen for the audience. Details are there for me all the way through the presentation, and that keeps me on track. And then we show our final slide. That's just one more way you can upgrade your bullet presentations with Keynote on Mac. I've got several more options, especially if you're using images. You can check those out in this playlist. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you have questions or ideas, please leave a comment below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.